Hello, my name is Elijah Moore, and I'm a Healthy Youth Ambassador. Today we're going to be making some Jamaican jerk chicken along with some cauliflower rice. So the ingredients that we need for that are some light brown sugar, black peppercorns, uh, olive oil, kosher salt, cumin, garlic powder, powder, ground thyme, allspice, cinnamon. Okay, that's all of our ingredients. Oh, and lime. Okay, so let's get started. We marinated this chicken in advance. Uh, you can let this sit overnight or um, for at least two hours. And what we use to make that is light brown sugar, black peppercorns, olive oil, kosher salt, cumin, garlic powder, ground thyme, ground allspice, cinnamon powder, and lime. So the first thing you want to want to do is uh, turn on your stove right here. Then you're going to want to put in your uh, olive oil in the pan. Just drizzle it like this evenly. Perfect. Then you want to take your tongs. Put it on here. You also want to make sure you can hear that sizzle. Hear that? Uh, make sure not to move it. You might want to, but you want to make sure it like uh, really sort of gets crisp and cures on the side with that brown sugar. And uh, yeah, so just don't move it. Keep it there. Let it simmer, and you should be good. So yeah, that just monitor it. Let it do its thing. Let's uh, check out the chicken here. Keep it nice and brown. Oh uh, yeah, so you can see that it's nice and brown, a little darker, right there. Yeah. Put it on the other side, then let that cook a little. Take a look at it. One right there. Nice. Okay. And also, once you're fully remove them from the pan, you want to make sure to use different tongs to prevent contamination. Because chicken can produce salmonella and that can cause food poisoning. So just want to be very careful with chicken. So you want to like cut it open so you can check for any kinkness. Uh, so I go like this, pick it up. Cut right here. So uh, yeah. Check inside. Okay, see the pinkness out. Okay. Yeah, kind of pops a little. Okay, so uh, once you like open them up a little, they cook pretty quick quickly on the inside. So uh, you gotta just let that sit, and it'll be fully cooked through, and then you'll be able to take them out and put them on your plate. And let that rest there. You want to let the juices soak up and work together. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so we're going to let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, then we're going to transition to our cauliflower rice, so uh, stay tuned. Now we're going to start with our cauliflower rice. Uh, so we of course have a grater here that you're going to need, a cutting board, a knife, a lemon squeeze, skillet. And the ingredients are chopped up onions, coconut milk, coconut oil, cilantro, and minced garlic, and along with cauliflower and lime. 
So uh, first what we're gonna do is take this. I also like to say we've already cleaned this in uh, apple cider and vinegar and uh, so just you wanna make sure to do that, let it sit in there for a bit. So first what you do is pull off these leaves right here, maybe one by one. It's kind of hard. Uh, Okay, uh, so now you're gonna cut this in half. You're only gonna need to use one of the halves. So you like, uh, when I get like a good bit, you can see, sort of see inside the grater actually, and see how much you've gotten there. And once you think you have enough, you can take that out, scoop it up, and, uh, yeah. Okay, so once you've grated the entire half, uh, this is pretty much what it looks like. So you have all your cauliflower rice, and, uh, yep, right there. Let me get this into a nice pile. Yeah. Okay, so then you want to take your knife, uh, not the sharp end, slide it in. Maybe, like, a few chunks. Uh, then you're gonna wanna turn this on, right here. So it clicks. Back there. Then, uh, I'll put in your coconut oil. Put that in, and that should be melting. And you sort of let that sit a little bit, a bit, you know, a bit. it'll start to melt. So I wanna move the oil around so it can be even all around the pan. You know, it melts really easily and pretty fast, so yeah, just get it all in there. Then you wanna add, you wanna add in the onions. Right here. I'm gonna evenly put that in everywhere. Then they're gonna sort of simmer. Then you add in the garlic. Okay, so you want to sort of saute it until the onions like sort of become basically completely clear. So, uh, yeah. So uh, you want to mix this up so it's pretty much all blended together and you want the cauliflower to get a little tender. And uh, now it's going to start boiling, sort of cooking down so you can add in the rest of your ingredients. Uh, the coconut milk. 
Add that on there. Stir that around a little. So uh, you sort of just want it to let it come to a simmer so it basically absorbs everything up, it all soaks up and just comes together. So uh, yeah, let it sit for a little bit. So uh, you, while it's doing that, it's uh, simmering, I just wanted to put in your cilantro right there. all over the place just want to drizzle juice everywhere and get as much as you can out then you're gonna want to zest the other lime half I'm gonna squeeze the other half here. There. And you just uh, sort of like scoop off your zest here. Yeah, so you sort of get in the grater, basically amplifies the uh, how like strong the lime is. It really gives it a lot of flavor. So the coconut milk has almost been absorbed, and once you can really see it, like. Uh, once you can't really see it on the bottom of the pan, that's when you know it's done and you can turn off your oven and, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna let this continue cooking and we'll be back in a second to show you how to place this with your jerk chicken. Now we have our jerk chicken and our cauliflower rice. So we're gonna see if we can cut a piece here and uh, show you what's on the inside. Cut down there. And um, you can see that it's fully cooked through, white meat here. So, yeah. Cut some of that. Okay, so we have our chicken here and our cauliflower rice. So I'm going to cut through here. Just cut off a piece right there. Now we're gonna try our chicken here. Okay. Has some sweetness to it. Mm. That's good. It's very good. So uh, yeah, all the flavors soaked up, came together. And it's great. I'm gonna plate it now.
Okay, so... So, yeah, this is our cauliflower rice and our jerk chicken. Try the cauliflower rice here. Very nice. I really like the garlic and uh, the cilantro. Not to mention the cauliflower. Yeah, if you want to try this at home, you can click the link in our bio. Yeah. Bye.